Okay, so today's video looks of uh, 29th March 2021. Uh, I'm gonna review on an articles on BN Express Internationals is uh, about the Hanoi plan to build two bridges over Red River at 1.12 billion dollars. So let's start. Uh, so at the beginning of the articles, you can see uh, the information of, of photos of Ving Tui's uh, bridge uh, across uh, the Red Rivers. Hanoi has many, many rivers. Actually, it's several rivers crossing the Red Rivers, connecting uh, a central's, uh, central world to other uh, places of uh, Hanoi. So Red Rivers flow through Hanoi and it separate Hanoi with other uh, province and a part of Hanoi is separated by the Red River also, so to uh, go from Hanoi to other princes and other places, it requires uh, the bridge. The Vinh Thuy Bridge is one of the bridge uh, crossing uh, Red Rivers, connect Han central region of Hanoi, central world of Hanoi to other place. Okay, let's begin. So, Hanoi authorities plan to build two more bridges over the Red River at a total cost of 26 trillion Vietnam dong. It's 1.12 billion. So, currently, uh, as I know, there is one Tang Long Bridge, um, another is Nhatan Bridge, um, Long Bien Bridge, Vinh Thuy Bridge, uh, Tang Chi Bridge. That is uh, about six bridges crossing the Red River right now, connected to Central Hanoi to other places and other princes. Uh, as a province, of course. And Hanoi authorities, they are planning to build two more bridges over the Red River. And it's cost 26 trillion Vietnam dong. It's 1.12 billion dollars. Is that a lot of money, of course? So, municipals, uh, municipal chairman Chu Ngoc Anh said at a city meeting on Sunday, that internal resources and funding from other appropriate sources would be used to build them. Actually, I do not understand much about the investment, but uh, okay, and it is not being used. Uh, it's not used external resources. It's used internal resources. It means. Uh, it came from our government. Uh, as I understand that, it would come from our government into the internal resources and funding from other appropriate sources would be used to build them. So they are collecting first internal resources and fund from appropriate sources. It means they are searching for um, appropriate sources after they uh, need to uh, provide the project as they, they list, they uh, announce the projects and they need to choose the investor uh, to build them, to do it. So, uh, one will link Thuong Gat Wars in Bac Thu Liem District with the Mai Khammius in Dong District. 
and cost 9,000 trillion Việt Nam đồng. And the other will connect Đông Hội Communes in Đông Anh with two lien, two lien wars in Tây Hồ and cost 17 trillion Việt Nam đồng. Okay, so uh, these places are in the north of Hanoi. So it's all in the Dong An district. It's all in the Dong An district. In the Dong An district, currently have a Nha Tân district, Thang Nong district. Is a Thang Long district? Ah, no. Ah, Thang Long bridge and Nha Tân bridge. I'm sorry, not district. Uh, Thang Long bridge. Nyatan Bridge is uh, connected uh, back to Niam District with Dongang District. So Dongang are really, really important. So they are focusing on Dongang and they are connecting Dongang with other places and with inner inner world of Hanoi is the Bak Tu Niam District and Taiho. Uh, while uh, the bridge for connecting back to the district with Daimai Commuse in the Wang district cut 9 trillion Vietnam dong. The other is connecting connect Dong Hoi Commuse in the Wang with trillion words in Tai Ho and cost 17 trillion Vietnam dong. Almost twice the price of the first bridge. Uh, I'm not sure why is that, but um, the second one uh, connect uh, to Tulian in Taiho district. In Taiho, it's really uh, the land here have a uh, price is really high, so maybe that's why. Maybe that's why the uh, the cost for it is twice as the amount of the first bridge 17 trillion da Vietnam domes is really 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 a large amount of money so the next one the city has earlier sought to get private investor to build them under the bill transfer form but with the BT form awarded is planned to switch from the form of public investment. So it means that uh, before, at the earlier time, the city has tried to find, uh, to get private investor to build uh, these two bridge under the bill transfer form. But with the BT form aborted, is planned to switch to the form of public investment. Actually, I don't understand it so much, but they failed to get the private investor at first. They plan, they plan it to get a private investor to be used these two bridge, but it fails. With the BT form aborted, I actually I don't understand uh, what is the meaning of BT form aborted. So let's forget about it. So. The next plan of the cities is to switch for, to the form of public investment. And Hanoi currently had eight bridges over the river. I only remember six of them. I do not, uh, I do not get to the eight, the river, eight rivers crossing the Red River. Actually, I don't know. I only, I, don't, I only remember six of them. And a transportation master plan envisage, 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 envisage building more tens, building 10 more bridges by 2030, includes these two. So in these sentences, I do not understand the envisage, I'm gonna search it on Google. Okay, so let's search it on Google here. Uh, 
so if you envisage something you imagine that it is true real or likely to happen so uh, i am understanding this as like uh, it did not happen yet and i'm just imagining that it will be done in the future so it's like um, a plan uh, uh, are being um, draw up ahead of us and we follow the plan we saw the plan and we think it will happen so that's uh, the things that we believe is uh, corresponding to the envisage something we envisage something so let's fight with google Let's find with Google. I'm gonna show this like this. So we say envisage, 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 contemplate or conceive of a of a possibility or a desirable future event. So uh, they are contemplating about. A plans of building uh, 10 more bridges crossing the Red Rivers and two of them included the rivers that we are talking about up above okay so envisage envisage envisages contemplates of a possibility or desire future event Okay, so we can write articles here. A transportation master plan envisage, envisage building. A transportation master plan envisages building more 10 bridges by 2030. Includes these two. So it means that the city has planned uh, to build to build more 10 more bridges crossing Red River uh, by the end of uh, 2030. Wow, it's really a lot of uh, bridges compared to the current number of bridges we are using to cross the river. I am um, not in Hanoi cities, but I am currently living here in an apartment here. But uh, my hometown is actually is far away from here. It's 50 kilometers from here in another, in another princess, uh, in another province, in another province. And I have to cross a river uh, to get across the Red River to go back to my hometown. I need to go out of Hanoi, so I had to cross uh, I, re I have to cross the Red Rivers via a um, bridge and it's called Tang Chi Bridge. You know about it? Uh, okay, so the city is also planning a Red River urbanization project on around 11,000 hectares, including 3,600 hectares of Red River surface and it is likely to get government approval in June. Oh, this is news. This is news. So they are also planning uh, in, several, in several years recently, uh, the city is de developing, growing a lot, rapidly growing. Uh, so the inner world, if you know, the central region of Hanoi have a lot of people, a lot of people per square. I do not know the exact number of people, but it's really a lot of people and it is not good. So the government are planning to build uh, a river, a red river urbanization project. So they are in uh, 11,000 hectares squares, including 
3,600 3, hectares of the river surface. I do not understand much about 3,600 hectares of river surface, but maybe it's required for building infrastructures, like transportation, or something like that. And it go along with uh, 11,000 hectares of, uh, for urban urbanization project. And it is likely to get government approval in June, that, which means the, the, the project is not approved yet, but soon they will get approval from the government. So that uh, explains the reason why the, uh, the land price from the region uh, is increasing rapidly recently. Recently, the price uh, of the land of the land from the regions is increased rapidly. And next, the riverine topography is diverse with unused bare land, farmlands, and old villages. The riverine topo topography, I do not understand this sentence, so I'm gonna search it on Google. So the riverines, let's see, what is the meaning of riverines? Okay, so let's short it here. So relating to, formed by. So uh, first, uh, I forget about explaining this. And this uh, means that a con um plating about some event um, which will happen in the future which we will believe happened in the futures. So the next one is the riverines Riverines, so which means is relating to uh, resembling a river. Relating to a river or you can understand it's uh, like a living, living or situated situated on the bank or a river so let's come back I think it's a the second meaning it's about the living or situated on the bank of the river because they are planning to build a Red River urbanization project here uh, and they are planning to build uh, 10 more bridges crossing Red Rivers and build an urban urbanization, a Red River urbanization uh, around the bridges. So that's why they are planning to build uh, 10 more uh, bridges crossing Red Rivers by 2020. 2030 by 2030. So the river rinsed topographies it diverse with unused bare land, farmlands, and old villages. Diverse. I'm not fully understand the meaning of diverse, so I'm gonna show it to understand it fully. So diverse. No. 
that foolish shirt is a meaning of the burst. No, I think I was showed it by Google. Not meaning, I think I was showed with definition. Okay, like this. Showing a great deal of variety, very different. So, okay, showing a great deal of variety, diverse, like diversity, maybe. I saw diversity in some sentences before, but I am not really remember the meaning of the words. So, showing, showing a great deal of variety very different showing great deal of variety very different uh, okay so let's come back here like this so the river green top of Topography is diverse with unused bare lands, farmlands, and old villages. So, uh, which means that there are a lot, uh, a lot, there are a lot type of different. Um, uh, there are a lot type of different uh, lands and um, things uh, around the river rains. The river rings so near the rivers near the red rivers which will be used to build a red river urbanization it contains uh, unused bare lands firm lands and old villages bare lands which means it's just the lands from lands uh, it's just uh, about uh, the lands uh, the uh, farmers use for uh, planting vegetables, uh, foods, something other like that, and our villages, so um, the village that existed long ago. Okay, next one. Uh, talking about the plan, the plan is to build new, modern urban areas, high quality ecological houses, and urban urban public works to serve people living on both sides of the river and the city as a whole. All works will be designed to withstand flooding. So they are planning to build new modern urban areas, high quality ecological houses and urban public works to serve the people living on both sides of the river and the city as a whole. So, which means there are a lot of things they have to do to build high quality ecological houses, especially that. <clears throat> and public works, public works to serve people living on both sides of the river. Uh -huh. So, there are many people who will get a chance to live here and they can go back and forth between the centuries of Hanoi to the new urban areas uh, via those bridges and urban public works to serve people living on both sides of the river and the cities as a whole. Quite good. So all works will be designed to withstand flooding. So the urban areas is built gonna build gonna build on uh, near the Red River on the river bank of course. So they need to design to be designed to withstand flooding. So Hanoi have flooding seasons so design to withstand the flooding is very really important uh, as the rainy seasons a lot of uh, waters will 
um, come from the top of the river down to here in Hanoi and the river bank will uh, no the waters the waters will rise up at the river bank or even over the river bank so it requires the urban areas and other things need to consider about the uh, the flooding problems because Hanoi also faces many flooding inside of its um, as uh, the central region. The central region, uh, I think uh, several years ago, about seven, I know, about 10 years ago, there is a flooding, uh, their flooding is quite famous and it shows us Hanoi is really facing a really big problem and they need to um, solve the problem the gap really need to solve the problem so they one of the uh, one of these way is to reduce the amount of people uh, from the central region so uh, building a new urban areas to reduce the the amount of people on the central region is also a um, solution for that of course I and I am understand it like that so next the red river flow from yunnan province in southern western in southwestern china china's through northern vietnam to the gulf of tonkin including some 30 kilometers 18.64 miles in hanoi so okay this is talking about the red river uh, Red River is being called by our Vietnamese. So in the Vietnamese uh, regions, in, Viet in Vietnam regions, the rivers is being called Red River. It flows from Yunnan province in southwestern China. So it flows from China, especially uh, the spec uh, specific location is Yunnan province so it uh, going through uh, the Yunnan province in southwestern south China through, through northern Vietnam to the group of Tonkin so the, the long uh, as a length the length of the rivers of the red rivers uh, is around 30 kilometers in Hanoi across the river also crossing other province uh, like uh, Hung Yen province my hometown uh, Taiping province and other province I do not uh, I do not know much about it except for my hometown and Hanoi so the uh, the length in Hanoi for the river, Red River, is 30 kilometers. Okay, we finish. There isn't much words uh, for me to search from, but here, Goof of Tonkins. Goof of Tonkins. I do not understand what is the meaning of Goof of Tonkins. So let's web search is here. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So it means the North Seas, the North Seas near Hanoi. Okay, okay. You mean which means the seas? You can you can understand that uh, it is the seas of the north of the Vietnam. Uh, near the north of the Vietnam, there are seas. So uh, the regions is called the Gulf of Tonkin. Uh, 